Welcome back to another episode of Post Gym Thoughts, man. And I know you see the scenery. Yeah, we in the bathroom because I was walking out of the gym. I had my camera. I had a couple things going on with the camera. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just record this when I get home. And then I got home. I was like, I need the bathroom. But whatever. We're not here for that, right? Anyway, here's what I wanted to talk to y'all about because this is something that happened to me while I was at the gym. And I think it's always interesting to be able to take some of these like in real life situations and, you know, apply them to some of the things that all of us as men are going through. And uh, let's just cut straight to it. No one likes a has-been. Not even no one likes a has-been, but no one cares about a has-been. So I was in the gym doing my thing like I normally do. And while I was in the gym, I noticed one of my acquaintances that, you know, that I talked to from time to time. And uh, he was wearing a high school wrestling shirt. So I went over to him. I was like, you're a little old to be wearing that shirt, right? And then he went into like this story about how he was like, fucking wrestling champion back in his day like back in the days i i think he's in like his like mid 30s or something um but you know when he was younger how he was like the champion and you know basically he peaked in high school and this is not this is not a diss to him or anything like that but i was just thinking how many of us get so complacent to where we think the things that we did in the past actually still holds weight in the present and i gotta be honest with you it really doesn't <laughs> it really doesn't. I'm sorry. Like, if you think what you did back in the day really matters and counts for, I don't know, I guess brownie points or just bragging rights in this case in today's society, no, not at all. More, more specifically, why would you want to be content with the things that you did in the past? And this is what I find so perplexing about men because oftentimes we always talk about how astute we are or how creative we can be or you know how we're we're work oriented and we're constantly building constantly trying to, to build to the next level but a lot of us just get complacent with the things that we did 5 10 15 years ago and then decide to live off of that glory for the next 5 10 15 or 20 years fam that's not how life works <laughs> that's not how life works at all like unless it's a resume no one cares about the shit that you did in the past you should always be trying to constantly grow and constantly move forward in, the, in a new direction or in the right direction wherever whatever you decide to do you should be moving towards that on a consistent basis like there's some guys who get a physique and then they get a girl and then once they have the girl they stop chasing after the physique and it's like bro do you think she's do you think she really likes you for you like intrinsically like you think once she's seen you, she said, forget about the abs, the pecs, everything else. I care more about his personality. As much as she likes your personality as she gets to know you over time, dog, I'm telling you, the one thing that helped you attract her or help her attract you or vice versa, however you want to think about it, was your physique at that time. So you have to keep chasing that. And yeah, I understand there's going to be a lot of guys that are like, but I don't want to work for the rest of my life. I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I don't want to have to keep trying to compete. Dog, you have to compete. You have to compete. I'm sorry. It's, it, it's either you decide to compete in the game and try to win or don't compete at all, which is its own competition. But that competition is who could be the biggest fucking loser <laughs> of their entire life. There, there's no there's no glory, no effort in not doing the things you need to do to get your life to the next level. There's no glory in being geeked off of what you did 15 years ago. Bro, that was in the past. Like, God rest his soul, my brother. He used to talk about his high school football days all the time, all the time. Dog, no one fucking cares, man. I'm sorry, no one cares. Even with the shit that I did back in the past, which I, I think were great stuff, but guess what? No one cares. What are you doing now? And now is what matters. So guys, consider, consider this. And when I say consider, I mean, think about your own life. Like, where am I in my life in regards to the things that I did in the past. Like, am I still that guy who's trying to achieve things or am I complacent with all the things that I've been doing back, back in the day? It shouldn't be that way. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We got self-development courses coming out this summer. We got the fitness app you could download on fitarafitness.com. You can go to the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, you could download it. My book, you could find that on Amazon as well. And then we'll also have some consultation slots opening up for a late spring, early summer as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and tune in for the next one. Peace.